This video demonstrates how to automate a calcium reactor using the AquaWiz calcium controller called the CRA. The package includes a brief setup guide, more detailed documentation available on the website. The package contains all the necessary components for the CRA to function. From right to left, there are buttons for entering data and navigating left and right. Additionally, there are ports for power, pH measurement, and transferring data to other controllers. On the next side, there are connections for CO2 and water inflow and outflow. This is the water filter to be connected to the entry of CRA. The clear tubing for CO2. The black tubing for water. Power adapter. The CO2 regulator. Few extra connectors to be used if needed. First, we connect the filter to the water inlet of CRA. Next, we connect the feeder pump to the other end of the filter. Gently connect the tubing that feeds water into the calcium reactor. CO2 regulator with a solenoid is used. Regulator without a solenoid will also work. The output pressure should be between 60 and 90 psi for the CRA to work properly. Connecting the tubing from the CO2 cylinder into the CRA. Attach the needle valve assembly to the CO2 out. Use the pH in port to measure the pH inside the calcium reactor using a pH probe. The pH out port can be used for getting the pH reading on Apex or any other controller using a BNC cable. This is the GEO calcium reactor I'm going to use for the demo. This is the CO2 line going into the calcium reactor with the check valve. Water inlet for water from CRA. Water outlet into the aquarium. Connecting the CO2 out of the CRA to the CO2 feeder line of the calcium reactor. Just to make sure, we have water in from the tank, water out to the calcium reactor, CO2 in from the cylinder, and CO2 out going into the calcium reactor. Let's power on the CRA. Curé is starting up now. Let's set up Wi-Fi by clicking Wi-Fi menu so that we can access the CRA setup on the phone. On the phone, select AquaWiz KH as your Wi-Fi. Wait for up to one minute for the setup page to show up. Enter Wi-Fi details of your router that CRA can use to communicate to the AquaWiz server.
Click Connect. Now you should see the correct local time on the CRA. Now let's register the CRA on the website. Enter the device, serial number and password and click Add Device. CRA will now be listed on your home page. I am using a geocalcium reactor for this demo. The calcium reactor is 17 inches tall and 9 inches in diameter. The volume calculation came out to 17 liters. To account for empty space at top and bottom, let's approximate it to 15 liters. Go to CRA settings and enter the data needed for suggested setup. AquaWiz will calculate the CO2 bubbles needed and flow rate and populate. Click Apply. Next step is to pair the CRA with KHA. Go to KHA Dosing Setup and enter the CRA serial number. Go to CRA Setup and enter the KHA serial number. Now the devices are paired. KHA will now provide the KH data to CRA so that it can control the calcium reactor. Plug the CO2 regulator to turn on the solenoid. Open the needle valve slowly until it's fully open. Turn on the pump that feeds the calcium reactor. Water flows in through the pre-filter into the CRA and into the calcium reactor. The outlet from the calcium reactor goes back into the tank. Let's now set the target KH on the KHA settings page. Click on Flow Menu option. Press Enter for bubble test. Open the needle valve completely and adjust it to regulate the size and flow rate of the bubbles. You should be able to see the bubbles going through the bubble counter on the calcium reactor. This is the ideal flow rate of the test bubbles. Make sure any CO2 flow rate is adjusted by the regulator on the CRA. Don't use the regulator on the cylinder. Leave that fully open. AquaWiz CRA is now fully set up to automate the KH needs of your system. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, please comment below. Our 200 gallon system was automated six months ago. The graphs shows how minimal the deviation of KH has been so far. When used with KHA, fully automated AI control, CRA can be connected to our KHA device to form a fully automated AI controlled calcium reactor system. The AI system analyzes and learns from the tank's condition every hour, adjusting the reactor automatically. Users never have to manually touch the reactor. No more adjusting flow or CO2 levels. KH stability can be maintained within plus C0.3 dKH, which is extremely difficult to achieve with manual control. This creates a truly hands-free solution for calcium supplementation. Please subscribe to our channel for the latest on AquaWiz.